Hey everybody, I'm Slippery Slope, and this is the first video in the physics series. Now this is going to be a long series, and it's going to be an informative series, and we're going to go over a lot of advanced information. So, you know, just remember to watch stuff again if you don't get it the first time. Remember to take it slowly. Remember that in our society, physicists like Hawking, Einstein, and all sorts of guys whose names that the common person doesn't know, people like you and me or anyone else, like those people are the most beloved and respected in a lot of circles. Right or wrong, that's just the way our society works. And yeah, if it was that easy, <laughs> we wouldn't work that way. So let's start talking about what physics is and what exactly we're going to study here, what we're going to understand. Well, the dictionary definition of physics is the study of or science concerning matter, energy, motion, and force. And that is a mouthful because each of those terms has have their own definitions, have their own mathematical formulas, have their own concepts, and boy oh boy, there are, there are an infinite amount of worlds we can explore. But really, we're going to spend much of our time discussing objects in motion. That's step one. That's item one. And figuring out how physics works and trying to learn some of this stuff. And in order to do that, we need to make observations. We need to start measuring. We need to develop mind tests, thought tests, and mathematical diagrams and models based off of all of that stuff. I guess one way to put it is it seems like rational conjecture. A lot of the things people come up with in physics, it's a lot of it is, is theoretical and a lot of it is applied. So a lot of the things people discover is stuff that we can't immediately prove. The important thing is that they follow mathematical scientific procedures and they end up with something that can be kept on the table. Even if it's just a hypothesis and not quite a fully developed theory, they have ideas. Now, when we measure everything, when we go about doing this, um, there are a couple different units that are uh, celebrated by the physical community. Let's get physical, huh? Um, <laughs> one is the MKS system, and here is just a listing of the relevant stuff. If you want to measure length, the units often in meters, and the abbreviation would be M. If we wanted to measure mass, our unit would be kilogram, and the abbreviation would be kg. If we wanted to measure time, our unit would be seconds, and our abbreviation would be an S. If we wanted to measure force, our unit would be a newton, as in Isaac Newton, and our abbreviation would be a capital N. Hmm, that almost sounds pretentious. <laughs> if we wanted to measure energy, our unit would be a joule. Hmm, not like as in like a gem or a diamond or something. And the abbreviation would also be a capital letter, a capital J. Now, what is energy? What does that even mean? Heck, we don't even have a good definition of that. But the good thing is we're not talking about that right now. What I want to talk about mathematically, and this isn't going to be too bad, is the formula speed equals distance over time. And what that means is the average speed equals the distance traveled over the time traveled. Well, let's say we were going to go, hmm, I don't know, 56 miles, and we were going to do that in eight hours. Hmm, that seems a little slow, doesn't it? <laughs> seven miles an hour? I mean, if we're driving a car seven miles an hour, okay, now I'm digressing. <laughs> but our average speed, well, we don't know that yet. So that's just an x, like a variable when you're doing algebra. So we just could jot down an x there. Our distance traveled, well, we know that's 56, as in 56 miles. Remember, the unit is critical. If you don't write down the unit, especially if this is a class, your teacher is going to go 56 watts, bananas, balloons, donkeys, you know, NES cartridges, Nintendo cartridges, like what? <laughs> and we know the time travel would be eight hours. And we don't mean that like time travel. We just mean like time travel. <laughs> and, uh, well, 
our x would equal 7, so our average speed is 7 miles an hour. Well, that's a lot of talk for our first video, and we have many more to come. So if you caught everything, good job. If not, eh, you're still pretty cool. Just uh, remember to rewatch this, and uh, yeah, take it easy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe. Slippery Slip signing out. Peace.